Israel, thanks very much for joining me. I'm curious, man. I saw a, a video downstairs. I know you've been asked about it already, but uh, no, I haven't actually. Oh, really? <laughs> the first one, breaking. You bumped into a bumped into your old friend Marvin, and uh, I saw it wasn't perhaps the crazy altercation people were expecting. Mm. Were you expecting to bump into him and feel that energy from him, or are you surprised that he wasn't trying to get in your face? No, I wasn't surprised. Um, so I went downstairs, and I, I had a feeling some, something was going to happen. So I told my my brother like get down here when I was in the elevator or before I go in the elevator and I get downstairs and I I see the security get tense and I'm like what the fuck I look to my right and I see Leon Edwards and I'm like oh nothing and I look again I see oh Marvin's on the other side I was like oh hey and I waved at him and he looked petrified he's just like okay and then he kept on looking back and then I told um, Steve like nah I'm not gonna do nothing to him he's not gonna do shit either and then I got my COVID test and I went to go check in and he happened to be there. I walked right up to him and I shook his hand like I did with Costa. Mm -hmm. Same thing. People think it's like, this is a game. It's not a game. I'm, this is tactics of war, you know? I understand this game, warfare. So I went and shook his hand. Um, and same thing, like I said, in Vegas, he was all smiley, smiley. And you know why? He didn't have his crew with him. If it was just me by myself and he had his mob with him, I would have kept the same energy. But he would have switched his energy up and like, because he knew security is there, his crew is there. He'd want to some shit for the cameras. But nah, I'm I'm a civil guy. When the time for war comes, yeah, I'll take that. So is this the second time you've run into him, and the second time he's been pretty cordial with you, despite what he says online, despite what he's been saying yeah, since the first fight? You see how they are on ESPN, and I was talking, I was talking to him, and the same thing in real life. You know, oh hey friend, oh hey buddy, uh, how's it going, pal? I'm like, bitch, I ain't your friend. Yeah, like South Park, you're not my buddy, guy. <laughs> you're not my buddy, guy. <laughs> but yeah, um, yeah. like I said, I keep the same energy. Then They don't. Same thing with Costa. And then when you come to the press conference Thursday, you're going to see him switch the story up. And the same thing with Costa. They're going to switch the story up. And I'll be like, look, this is the same. It's deja vu again, literally. I fought this guy, same arena, all that. Same shit, different night. Is this the same, in terms of outside the cage, not the fight itself, is this the most close to the Paula Costa thing. The same sort of vibe, right? This guy is really aggressive. I mean, I, I don't think I'm being out of line when I say Marvin might be one of the most like angry people I've seen on the UFC roster for a while. He's, when, he, when he weighed in in his last fight. Geez. When he's chewing. Yeah. yeah. I'm like, man, my man's on the fucking, he's gurning right now. It's like, Jesus. The he just did a big fat one before yeah. he went out. <laughs> he did a big fat one before he came out. Like, fuck, the orc in him was coming out. Um, but, yeah, similar, similar. Um, just juice heads, meat heads. Yeah, two meat heads. So, yeah, I'm not vegan. I love that meat. <laughs> didn't he say to you on it? <laughs> fucking play. We ain't pausing shit. Did, uh, he, on ESPN, didn't they cut out that he was offering you his Italian sausage or something like that? I saw they cut that out. Yeah, I'm not sure. I think he just got, what I saw is when I burped, he got really like psyched. I'm like, what the fuck? He get, I might burp in his face. Do you know what's funny? is actually, is I, that, I know. Is that illegal to burp in someone's face, allegedly? Have you got a gold wristband on? Uh, yeah, I have to go get it. It's downstairs. I have to go. Well, once you're there, you're, you're home free, I think. I'm a burp in his face then. It's funny. You actually, I actually see you burping interviews fairly often. Is that just because you got gas? I got gas for days, man. You know the vibes. I got gas for days. With Marvin, is it fair to say that he's only getting this rematch because you felt like giving it to him? No, it's because Rob didn't take it. They both wanted like September and October. And I was like, look, who's going to step up to June? And yeah. He stepped up, so kudos to him for doing that. But I mean, he had to he had to grab it. He had to grab clutch at straws even. And I was reluctant at first. Then I saw Usman do work on an immediate rematch for Homeboy, and I was like, Nah, okay, I'm inspired now. I wanna I wanna take this guy out. I wanna I wanna shut him down completely. Shut out. Yeah. That's the thing, right? Because I think people think, Oh, how can he be motivated to be the guy that he's beaten before? But is there something you can actually find extra motivation knowing this guy's been talking for so long, knowing he's really put so much stock in this performance of his first fight that you can think, I can come into this one and really prove a point here? Yeah, that's the fact. I want to really shut him out. Like, like there's no, not a, not a smidgen of hope. I want to take every bit of hope from him that he just, he just feels like there's nothing I could have done to this guy. In the stand-up, he was catching me. On the clinch, he got out. He swept me, you know, even if on the ground. I threaten him with some submissions. I sweep him. I beat him up from bottom. Beat him up on the top. Like everything. I want. I want wherever the fight goes. I want. I want him to just know. Like fuck. I had nothing. I took everything away 
from I want to take everything away from him. That's real Usman energy right there. I can hear like Kamara in your voice. Kamara's the same way. Like he loves just thing. Like we just know when when you fuck with Ogun. Yeah, we just is is a. I want to take everything away from him so that way he knows like I'm the big dog in the yard. Does that look like a finish? You finish him to take everything oh, away? He's tough. That's the that's the thing I'll say from his last fight. He's tough. I'll say that like he's tough. He's got that block head, that Lego head, and also he got popped for some shit. So who knows what he was on? Um, we won't dive too much into that. But yeah, I mean, hopefully he's clean now. And yeah, but I, I just I want to test him in, in new ways that he hasn't been tested before. Last time I tested his leg. Next day, I saw him limping on the way out of the hotel. Same hotel, I saw him limping, and I took note of that. Like, that's right, I got you. But this time, it's going to be different. Yeah, it's going to be different. Mark my words.